So why did I vote against the infrastructure bill? A lot of people were mad because 13 Republicans voted for it, gave Pelosi and Biden a win in their eyes. And look, that, that there is some truth to that. Now, I wouldn't vote against something just because it makes Democrats look good. I vote against things because they're bad policy. And I think this infrastructure bill is bad policy, mostly because it's too expensive. Now, keep in mind, this is not the Build Back Better plan, the human infrastructure plan, if you will. It's a separate bill, but one of the reasons we voted against this is because it's it's obviously tied together to the reconciliation bill. Um, that's really frustrating for Republicans. But look, why is it bad policy? Again, too expensive, but also it doesn't make it easier to build infrastructure. If you're going to allocate a trillion extra dollars to infrastructure, make it easier to build infrastructure. Shouldn't take seven years to permit a highway project, for instance. Now, let me give you a quick local example. In Houston, we have a fully funded, ready to go plan to widen I-45, widen the highway. I thought that's what we all wanted, right? Rebuild our roads, rebuild our bridges. Guess who's stopping it? Guess who's getting in the way and potentially getting in the way so badly that we're going to lose that money and that project's just going to go away. And you're just going to have more traffic on I-45 in Houston. Guess who's getting in the way? Our local Democrat county judge and our federal representatives as well from the Houston delegation and the Department of Transportation under Pete Buttigieg. So this is a real problem, guys. If you're gonna allocate more money to infrastructure, make it easy to build infrastructure.